Welcome back to Tain Slate Info. During August 2022, when we came to know that India was coming up with the indigenous light tanks for the Indian Army, it was indeed a great update as these tanks would help in fulfilling the requirement of such tanks in Ladakh region and northern borders. To be more precise about the actual expectation from the Indian Army, the tanks which they want to operate are the light tanks which will be easy to operate, maintain, lightweight and maneuverable without sacrificing the firepower. Initially, we didn't have much information about these planned light tanks of the Indian Army, but this video will provide few updates which have come out relevant to these DRDO and LNT co-developed tanks. The Indian Army had issued a request for information for light tanks in April 2021 and it plans to inject almost 350 light tanks. One vital update is regarding the chases on which these tanks are going to be based. DRDO and LNT have confirmed that these tanks would not be based on the chases of the South Korean K-9 Vajra Howitzer. It is said that the upcoming light tanks of India will be based on a completely new chassis being designed by DRDO. The main reason to drop this plan is to meet the Indian Army requirement of a 25 ton limit set for the light tanks. The second update is regarding the main components like the engines which are going to power these tanks and the transmission systems of them. It is said that these vital components would be imported and not going to be an indigenous ones. Looks like the engine which would be powering these upcoming light tanks would be MTU-MT, KA-500, V8 water-cooled diesel engine that offers a power range of 735 kilowatts at 2700 rpm. These power packs would be further optimized for high altitude operations as well. While the Indian Army has deployed the T-72 and T-90 main battle tanks in eastern Ladakh, these tanks were primarily designed for operations in plain and desert terrains. They have their own limitations when employed in high altitude areas and their mobility and use in high altitude areas are restricted due to their weight. As mentioned in my other video, the Indian Army wants to expedite these light tank procurement so we can expect to see a prototype by next year. So that was a video to provide more updates on the project Zoravar and what new information we got about the future upcoming light tanks of the Indian Army. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned to Tainslade Info for more defense and aviation related updates. Thank you.